<laughs> All right, um, the American way. Way better with syrup. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Oh, Tuesday in Australia, Monday in America. What a weekend. What a time to be alive. Came away with two wins this weekend. That is mental just saying that. Uh, Saturday was crazy. I won the Sloppers event. I beat Jeff. Wow, that's crazy. We all know how good Jeff Esper is. Thing is, with the eating contest, you just gotta turn up and give it your best. And on the day, sometimes your best is not good enough. I was fortunate that on the day, both days, my best was good enough, only just. So blessed to uh, be a part of the organization, the MLE, what an opportunity, get to compete with the best in the world. So Saturday was sloppers, I beat Jeff by half a slopper. Now we all know on any other day, Jeff would have found a way to swallow that half a slopper hole, at least. So blessed to win that and Wow, we are in a sloppers contest, that's crazy. First time eating sloppers. Then Buffalo Wing Festival, what a day that was. Now, not only were we in Highmark Stadium, the home of the Buffalo Bills, the stage was right in the center, something I've never experienced before, but um, I went up against Joey, Jeff, Mickey, and Nick, and many other brilliant eaters. Of, of course, there was Chigga, there was Badlands, there was Conti. I went against Bartley on Saturday. You know, great lineups, unbelievable lineups. But the thing is this, we all know Jeff and Joey, Mickey and Nick are the top four for a reason. They are not only head and shoulders above all of us, but they're consistently head and shoulders above us. Going up against them, win, lose, or draw, you're only gonna get better. So it's a massive learning experience for me to win the wing contest, something I'll never forget. I got a cool wrestling belt, but like that's that's just the momentum, that's cool. The memory, the core memory will be there forever. Having my arm raised, standing next to Joey Chestnut, man, that's idolized right there, idolized material. He's my idol. The glizzy gobbler, the goat, whatever you wanna call him, mate, it's Joey Chestnut. That guy's royalty in the eating world. You know, to beat Jeff, obviously we all know how good Jeff is. We all know that, mate, Jeff is one of the most consistent performers in the MLE. Over 20 world records. I mean, yeah, mate, you're number two for a reason, like your quality. So you learn, I learned a lot going up against him, getting my ass kicked a few times, but that's how you do this. But look, it's Monday, it's a new week. Today I'm taking it easy, recuperate. I'm actually leaving Buffalo today, headed towards New Jersey. So I'm stopping off in Geneva, but I'm at the gym. I'm gonna train, I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna go drink some water, I'm so thirsty. I'm recuperating today, guys. Tomorrow back at it I'll make a video but for today guys it's more like off-grid chill out get my thoughts together man I just won two contests in a weekend flew across the country and won two contests that is crazy I'll enjoy it while it's here guys I know plenty more work to do got to get better I'm just glad I'm finally on the radar doing proud for Australia. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll check back a little later tonight, maybe even tomorrow. Thank you for everyone's support, the messages, the kind words. I appreciate you guys. Guys, we are done. Steel Mill Gym, thanks for coming. But we're out of Buffalo now, on our way to Jersey via Geneva. Geneva, I think that's how you say it. But I'm proud of myself, guys, I got it done. It's so hot today, it's like 30 degrees Celsius, so aircon car, might go find a Starbucks. But um, let's go, guys, on the road, peace. Good morning, guys, it's an early one. Man, people start early around here. There's like. A garbage truck emptying garbage. There's people over there cutting grass. Mate, early start here. Henrietta. Early start for for, for, for for a good change. Normally in America, nothing starts till 10 a.m. But um for me, early start. It's 6 a.m. I've come to a sporter fitness. We got a breakfast food challenge today, 10 a.m. and it's about an hour's drive away in Geneva. So looking forward to that one. Apparently the place is known for burgers at breakfast, pancakes at lunch. So if I go at brunch time, maybe I'll get both of them. Should be good though. But um, alright guys, I've got a train. Got to hit some shoulders in my new T Fuel singlet. Shout out Bartley, you're a legend. So yeah, it was a crazy weekend, but I managed to find this really cool gym in Buffalo, Steel Mill Gym. And to be honest, it was just what I needed. I was so dehydrated and so exhausted from such a crazy weekend. I took my sweet ass time in this gym and thoroughly enjoyed myself and regathered my thoughts. It took me almost two hours to train chest and back. All right, guys, gym is done. A sport of fitness. It was actually pretty decked out. Commercial gym on steroids, literally. It was huge, had all the good equipment. 
had a pool even, indoor like rock climbing and stuff. But anyway, had what I needed, beautiful, had fun. But now we're off to Geneva, about a 50 minute drive. Gonna go smash burgers for breakfast and pancakes for lunch. So uh, stay tuned guys, I gotta go get my bag, have a quick shower at the gym. The lady's so nice and goes, you can come back in. So thank you for that, sport of fitness. Shower, change, get on the road, less talking, more doing. Geneva, right on the famous Finger Lakes in New York. All right, so I've arrived in Geneva. We are at Water Street Cafe. Now look, I'm in this quiet little town and there's a random broken down truck in the middle of the road. Typical. Nothing else happening in this town. Truck breaks down and a school bus. But anyways, guys, we're here. Water Street Cafe. Let's go have some burgers for breakfast and pancakes for lunch. Water Street Cafe. What a place. Not only do they serve burgers for breakfast and pancakes for lunch, but they put the gravy for the burgers on the outside. How cool is that? If I didn't already have enough reasons to be excited about this, I just got even more excited. But back to business. Nine of Water Street Cafe's signature dishes. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Can Eat. I've made it to Geneva. Yes, Geneva is in New York. I'm in Geneva, I'm at Water Street Cafe. Now, this place, something special. They are famous, well known, renowned for burgers at breakfast and pancakes for lunch. So I've got a couple of their signature meals here. When I say a couple, I couldn't decide because everything sounded so good. But look, I've got their breakfast quickie burger. Apparently, fan favorite. So, Breakfast quickie burger, and then we got pancakes. Now, everyone knows I got a sweet tooth, so I'm always down for dessert. So we got breakfast, we got lunch. It's kind of brunch. Guys, I want to give myself 30 minutes. I'm going to take on this delicious, whatever you want to call it, and let's do this, guys. 30 minutes, wish me luck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, if it wasn't already extravagant, it's definitely extravagant now. The American way. Oh. All right, the finishing touches have been added. Now I'm going to get started. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, everyone. By the way, everyone, thank you. I appreciate you putting up with me. Please, no judgment for the next 30 minutes. I appreciate that. For you guys that know me, I'll take gravy over cheese sauce any day of the week. Man, also gravy. I love American gravy. So let's stop talking. Let's start eating. Three, two, one, let's go. Started with the French toast roll-ups. French toast and sausage, how good. Then moved on to their bacon and eggs, toast, hash browns. Bacon and eggs, we'll be rude not to. Now that's an omelet, meat lovers omelet. This thing could feed the village. Then an omelette that I think is the biggest omelette I've ever eaten in my life. It was literally the size of a kebab. Whiskey burger. I then moved on to the whiskey burger. This thing was both big and delicious. Everybody knows I love my barbecue sauce variations and whiskey barbecue sauce did not disappoint. All right. Yes, this is a burger, gravy on the outside. Do people normally eat this with their hands? Yeah, it's, I'll be civilized. <laughs> full? No. When the food is good, it'd be rude to be full. <laughs> On to the lunch quickie burger. P.S. How good is it when venue owners actually watch your videos and follow you? 
they knew straight away I needed a pitcher of Diet Coke. And a normal glass wouldn't cut it. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Oatmeal. Had to balance all this savory out with the kitchen sink oatmeal. This definitely lives up to its name. It has everything in there bar the kitchen sink. All right, the grand finale, the breakfast quickie burger and the lunch pancakes, why not? There's no time, your body doesn't know what time of day it is. Eat what you want, when you want. And of course, I left the two signature dishes for the grand finale, the breakfast quickie burger and a full stack of pancakes. So this breakfast quickie burger, firstly, if burgers for breakfast is not already a strange concept, smothering it in sausage gravy, man, this was different. All right, pancakes, let's do this. All right, um, the American way. <laughs> when do I stop? <laughs> I'm from Australia, man. We don't do this. This is an education for me. Way better with syrup. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Then a full stack of the Water Street pancakes. I had one of each. Blueberry, banana, strawberry, walnut, and choc chip. Then, of course, smothered in syrup, the American way. I really appreciate everybody's support coming down to cheer me on and putting up with my antics. This challenge truly showed me how dense and delicious American food is. And there's no rules or limitations with what you can order. Sorry. Have what you want when you want it. Mm. I'm stretching, all right. <laughs> Oh. Come on, man. All right, come on, you guys. Do it, do it, do it. All right, do it. Come on, you do it. I feel like the more you cheer, the thicker these get. <laughs> I managed to smash this down in 28 minutes and 54 seconds. All right guys, Water Street Cafe, what an experience. It's like all day breakfast, all day lunch, all day everything. So a mad selection, burgers, pancakes. Man, what they call an omelet is like a kebab. So good. I'm so full right now though. Smashed it all in just under 30 minutes. Spent two hours hanging out, talking to everyone. But um, what a time guys, what a time, what a fun time, fun morning, worth the early wake up. Finger Lakes is the area. I wanna go check out the water now and chill out a little bit. But um, I had fun today guys, Water Street Cafe. I'll tag them in the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.